So I want to, uh, last night, LeBron's team got crushed. LeBron was yelling at people and screaming at people. And was, yeah, he got crushed. Now, you know my personal opinion on LeBron. Best player in the league for like 14 years. Whenever he struggles in the regular season, I'm always like, come on, man. He'll be fine. See in the finals. Eastern Conference is horrible. Boston thinks they're close. They're not. You know how I always come out and say that. And you guys always say I'm a LeBron homer. But you have to admit, even if you don't like me, I've been right seven years in a row. So seven years in a row, I've been like, now he's going to get to the finals. It doesn't matter. He may not win the finals, but he get into the finals. And for seven years, you've yelled and screamed at me. You're a LeBron homer, but I've won seven straight arguments. This morning, I still believe that. But I'm going to take the opposite and let you hear how ridiculous it sounds if I do. So here we go. Let me take the opposite take. Have no context. Live in the moment. Be a prisoner. Panic and overreact to last night's ugly loss. Here we go. Hey, man, LeBron is in major trouble. First of all, have you seen the East? You don't want to mess with De DeMar DeRozan in the playoffs for Toronto. I mean, I know he can't hit three-pointers. It's a three-point league. That guy is money. And his teammates, Fred Van Vliet and C.J. Miles, hey, bet against those guys at your own peril. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. LeBron's 8-2 and two against Toronto in the playoffs. They swept them last year. Whatevs. I like historically irrelevant, clutch, never Toronto over LeBron. By the way, Milwaukee Bucks, <laughs> no way. LeBron's meeting Milwaukee. No way. They have Matthew Della Vadova. He has all LeBron's secrets. Oh, by the way, they haven't won a playoff series since 2001, so they're totally due. I know they've got a losing record on the road, and I know they have a negative point differential. No way he's getting past Milwaukee. And the Sixers, they're getting in, and they're beating LeBron too because you know if they play the Sixers that Joel Embiid will be able to play at least two games in a seven-game series. I know Ben Simmons can't shoot, but... Who cares about shooting? LeBron is in big trouble. First with clutch Toronto, then Della Vadova, giant killer in Milwaukee, and then occasionally capable of playing Joel Embiid. How ridiculous does that sound? LeBron's biggest concern in April is his tax returns. LeBron is 36-5 and five against the East since he returned to Cleveland. What happened last night has zero impact on the playoffs, his relevance, or his legacy. In fact, let's go a year ago from today. You do remember how easily they swept through the Eastern Conference playoffs. Crushed Boston, humiliated Boston in the finals. And Boston, by the way, has a whole new team now. And the one guy that could defend LeBron, Jay Crowder, is now playing with LeBron. On this night last year, LeBron and the Cavs lost by 16 to mediocre Portland. Their next game, they lost by 33. They had a losing record in January. LeBron, this time last year, was losing for the sixth time in eight games. So I could take two arguments this morning. Man, you don't want to face John Wall in the playoffs. He and Bradley Beal. I know. They've never won a second-round playoff series. This is the year. Or I could say, meet me in the finals, and I'll be right for the eighth straight year. Okay, what about these Cavaliers? Christine's just, holy moly, we're bailing water here. The ship is sinking. My argument is a year ago, they lost by 19 to Portland on the same night, ah. and then they lost by 33 two nights later. And last year at this time, they lost 6 of 8, and they had a losing record in January. I think LeBron's bored, and I do think every time he, he gets, every time he meets a new guard, Wade, Kyrie, and IT, I'm going to get to this next hour, but it is tough because LeBron overpowers this little guy who's used to having the ball. LeBron comes in and goes, no, nah, I'm going to take the ball. And the little guy's like, no, 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 no. 
And then after about three weeks, little guys relents and they start getting it together and they win and it'll just give me to the all-star break and we'll be fine. That's my take. Yours is. Well, I, I think you're a little bit of Kevin Bacon in Animal House, <laughs> right? But this is a little dated for Christine. I know. I don't know. If, I <laughs> it's mean, an old no. movie. Right. It was, it's a, it's a good movie. Um, it was, it was, uh, let's see here. Was it? I'm trying to think what the modern day references. But you're Kevin Bacon. All, all is remain calm. All is well, right? And everything's on fire, and the, yeah. the parade is a disaster. Um, look, last night, Lorenzo Brown, straight out of the G League, had 25, 25 points out of out of the G League. Um, when when two guards who are barely barely on any Fred Van Vliet had 22. So you got two guys combining for 47 points who wouldn't start on any team in the NBA. That's not a good sign. They have defensive issues. What they've been able to do for Kevin Love offensively is play him at center. He floats out there wide. It's great because it opens up the lane for LeBron James. The problem with it is there's no rim protection. And no rim protection is a problem. It's an even bigger problem when your perimeter players can't stop the basketball. So do I agree with you that they're still probably at full strength when they get it together, the best team in the East? Sure. But last year they went through the East in the in the in the tournament like a, a hot life through butter. They swept right? everybody, yeah. And well, they, they it was thirteen games out of a possible twelve games if they swept everybody. Yeah. Consider this year, if they played Milwaukee and Toronto and Boston, each of those series goes five to seven games. Suddenly now it's the attrition of those playoffs, in addition to the fact that the Warriors starting five is just better. That I don't think a full frontal assault takes down the the Cavs, but I think the attrition of it could lead to one an injury. They got older players, yeah. and two ends up to them either losing earlier than expected in the playoffs, or it going. It went bad in a hurry last night when LeBron's yelling at teammates and the head coach is saying, "Guys got an agenda." That's not a good thing, even if they're bored in the middle of January. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the herd, or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.